All right, welcome to Minecraft 1.15, the B update. I don't think that's actually what it's gonna be called in the end, but we'll stick with it for now. Sorry, I had to do that. Anyway, gotta give credit to Mojang on the timing for this because Minecraft is out here peaking and they just go and drop a new snapshot for 1.15 out of nowhere. I had no idea that this was coming, but here we are. And it's the bee's knees. Look, do you see the knees on this absolute unit of a bee? Bro, they're absolutely massive. If this was real life, I would be running for the hills right now. It'd be absolutely terrifying. But in game, they have cute anime eyes. So it's okay. And they look kind of cute. And I'm not terrified. So that's the main focus for the snapshot is bees and, and bee nests. Okay, this is called a bee nest in game. And it's making me question everything I thought I knew about bees and hives. Because when I see a thing up in a tree that has a bunch of bees, I'm like, that's a beehive. But in game, they're calling it a bee nest. And they're calling this man-made box thing which you would do like a man-made bee colony. They're calling this a hive. And I don't know, is that the proper terminology? Has, yeah, dude, I, I know, has this been a nest all along and I've been calling it a hive? Is it like starfish and jellyfish? They're not fish, they're actually sea stars and jellies and it's like, it's not a hive, it's a nest? I don't know, anyway, so. This spawns naturally, and all the hives, nests, god dang it, it's gonna happen. All the nests that you're gonna see here around in this video, except for that one that I placed, they all spawn naturally, and I don't know if there's like a difference between forest biomes, because the first forest biome that I ended up in when I created this world didn't have any that I could see, but then I came to this one, and they were all over the place. So there's a nest right here, and then there's a nest over there in that tree kind of far away. You can see it next to my crosshair, and then there are a couple more over here. So basically what I'm saying is there are a lot of them in this particular biome. And if you're allergic to bees, uh, that's kind of nerve wracking, I guess. So we got you right here. We got this one over here. And because I was prepping for this video for a little while, all of these nests, I was about to call it a hive again, are currently dripping with honey, except for the one that I placed, the, the man-made one over here. So let's take a look at the one I placed down first because this is an example of kind of the base state of a hive. A nest, a nest. And as the bees go around, they like flowers. Occasionally they freeze in the air. It's fine, it's just an early snapshot. Don't worry about it. As they go around, they'll dance around the flowers on the ground. So it gives you like encouragement. If you like honey, you wanna go and put some flowers around the hive. It'll help them out a little bit. They'll dance around, they'll pollinate. You see the little white particles that are dropping from the bee as it goes? That means it's doing the pollination on the flowers and stuff and it's enjoying its life and doing important things. And then it'll go back, dive into the hive and then it does this thing in the hive, the nest. And then you have a couple of options here. Okay, so one option is say you wanna get some honey. Okay, so you right click on the on the nest with the bottle and it's gonna fill your bottle with honey and also spawn an angry bee because you'll know it has the angry anime red eyes which are not good, you don't want those. Okay, now, if you get stung, you're gonna get poisoned, all right? It's not a super long lasting poison effect, it's nothing like a witch, but the sad part about this is I almost feel worse for the bee because despite my being poisoned, I'm at least gonna survive it. On the other hand, now that this bee has gone and stung me, it is, it's like real life. And if we follow it around enough, it takes a little bit of time, but eventually it is gonna demonetize. And, and that makes me a little bit sad, unless it, it freezes up in the air, which I don't know, seems to happen sometimes. I don't know if that means it's not gonna end up demonetizing. Slight bug with the bugs, but don't worry about it. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll check back on you in a little bit, see if you're still there or not. That might've interrupted the natural cycle, but usually they will eventually demonetize after. Yep, he just poofed. There you go. He got a little poofing particle effect, and uh, that was because it, B, because it stung me. So sorry about that, bud, but it was for science. And now after you've harvested the nest, it returns to its base state. The bees will go around, they'll pollinate a little bit more, and then they'll pop back in and eventually raise it back up to where it's got honey. And any of the bees that are inside of the nest at the time that you harvest, they're, they're gonna be upset with you. It's just kind of the way it's gonna be. I keep saying bee all the time. Now the other option is that you can use a shear. If you right click with a shear, then instead of honey, you'll still aggravate the bees, but it will give you honeycomb instead. And you can use that for a crafting recipe, which we will get to in a very short amount of time, just a few seconds. Now. You might be wondering, 
how do you get more bees? You would think the bees would kind of just procreate naturally, but you can in fact manually breed bees. If you hold a flower, bees will start to follow you around. It's kind of adorable. And I don't think it works this way in real life, but we're gonna enjoy it here. So let's, hey, come on, where's another one? Oh, you just popped into the hive over there. We need to find another one that's floating about. Hey, can you follow me? Let's go over to these guys over here with that, or I could just, I could spawn you a mate really quickly. Let's just, let's just do it that way. Okay, hey buds, here you go. Let's make a little baby bee. Yeah, there we go. So we got a little baby bee. It's still an absolute unit in comparison to real life. And again, I would be terrified, but it's slightly smaller than the adult bees, although it looks pretty much the same. Still has the, the cute anime eyes and stuff like that. But yes, you can in fact manually breed bees. Absolutely uh, fascinating. So anyway, let's go and now there's a variable amount of the honeycomb that you're able to get, um, depending upon, I think it's just completely random when you go and actually shear each of the hives. So here we go. In this case, I think I only, oh, let's see, we got three more. In that case, there were no bees inside that hive. So fortunately, I wasn't, uh, oh, someone's angry at me now. And I actually want you guys to sting me because I want to lose a bit of hunger, if you guys don't mind, so that I can show the power of honey. Okay? Poison me. Please, please poison me. Please poison me. Now, you can also, if you really want to, you can just break the hive, which seems like kind of a mean thing to do. Uh, there's not much of a point in doing it. You don't get anything out of it at the moment, at least. Maybe that'll change in the future. All you do is end up, you know, destroying the beehive. So I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, so honey, you can actually drink it, and it restores three full sticks of food, so six units of hunger. So pretty useful. Obviously, I'm only down four right now, but... Kind of a unique drinking sound effect as well to go along with it. And then uh, it actually has really, really good saturation as well. Given that I'm regenerating health right now, it's not going to keep my food up as long. But if I were full health and I was just down a little bit of food, drank it, then I would be able to uh, maintain my hunger pretty well. So honey is actually some good stuff. Now, as I was mentioning before, we have the actual hives. And I realize I probably called that a hive several times over there, even though it's a nest. Pardon me, it's going to keep happening. So we just need to get a little bit of uh, wood. I won't, I won't actually use your tree, bees. I would never be so mean as to use your tree in order to get the wood that I need for this. But you can craft one of the actual beehives, the thing that's named a beehive in the game. Only downside right now is that these actually, they, they don't have any interface. I'm assuming that'll be added later, but currently it's like those villager blocks that don't actually have any function at the moment. Um, it's just a decoration block at the moment. You can't right click, you can't do anything, but my assumption is you'll be able to use these to have like a bee farm that you can operate without having to go and click on the hive and risk getting poison just to get honey. Like maybe it'll have almost like a, a build craft interface or there's that full on bee mod that has existed in tons of mod packs that I've used in the past and never gotten into. And you'll be able to collect honey. Maybe there's a bar that will fill up. You'll be able to fill up your bottles that way. The bees won't get angry. Everyone can coexist. You don't have to sacrifice yourself in order to poison me. And we'll be able to exist happily all together using beehives. So you kind of like your goal is maybe to transfer from the bee nest to the beehives over time. But that's that's basically it. Red eyes means they're angry. Uh, they will eventually cool off. And if you, if you punch one, it will also get angry at you and start coming after you as well as everyone else around it. Um, their anger is like pigmen. It's contagious. And that's kind of scary. <laughs> but also it's sad at the same time. It's like, I almost, I'm, I'm more not wanting you to sting me because I want you guys to live than I want me not to get poisoned. But that's it. First snapshot for 1.15. I think that covers most of the attributes about bees, nests, hives, and I'm going to keep calling nests hives for forever. Sorry about that. And I think we're safe now from the angry bees. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you liked. Tune into the playlist in the description if you want to catch other update stuff, maybe for future stuff in case there, you're watching this in the future and there's more 1.15 stuff out there at this time. And subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for future videos and things like that. So that'll end it for now. And um, I'll see you next time.